Okay, here's the deal. So, I decided to fix the battery that has the melted pole. And the plan is to cast a new pole <laughs> over the, the old one. Well, make a new pole. Using the stuff that came out of it. I'm not sure. I did some research. I think it's kind of a lead or tin or a mix of that. So I'm going to use that and I got some tin that I'm going to add it. I'm going to drill a hole into a piece of wood. And I'm going to put over this and then I'm going to pour to the melted stuff to the hole and then crack the, the wood off and hope that it sticks there because like I said the voltage is okay it's 12.3 on here and it's steady and yesterday I charged this one which was also in a short circuit because these were in, uh, in series but this only melted so I charged this and it's 13 point something still so it seems like it's holding well yeah 13.40 so it's holding the charge well so I think that is okay and I think this might also be okay but we're gonna find out the casting process I've never done that before and I didn't find any good kind of a pot kind of a thing where to melt that stuff but <laughs> I'm gonna use this can which was tomato stuff it got this white coating I think I'm gonna heat it first and maybe it burns off and yeah let's see I don't think this is gonna melt because the tin lead stuff has a lower melting point so I hope that works okay and for the melting I'm gonna use the wood gas stove but first I'm gonna take that off take that out to the dock and do the stuff over there so <laughs> okay so I got the battery out and I put all the lid stuff that the pole was made of and here I also made the um, the mold so this is gonna go over here then I'm gonna pour the liquid stuff drilled with this one small bit just some holes over here show if you can see them I figure out it might make it to, you know, weld it better and it would come off, but I don't know. You can see. Okay, so I got my fire now cooking. Battery here. Yeah, it's melting. This might work. Yeah, it's already liquid. I'm not sure if I should put the, the soldering stuff over there. I'm gonna put this also. I'm not sure if that was a good idea. Things are quite big now. Let's see what happens. Well, so far it went better than I thought it would be. It looks pretty cool. So let's check it out. Whoa! <laughs> I think it's even prettier than the old one. Now, let's 
test it out if it holds the current. This one. So it's 12.3. Let's put the charger on. Let's put the uh, the power to. Well, let's try the 15 amp power. Let's see what happens. This might take a while, so I open up a can of beer. So the charger is just beeped as an indicator that it has figured out that it's 12 volts. And it's now showing the um, well, showing the voltage, but also the uh, the percent of uh, charge, which I don't really trust. But it's 61 now, and it was about the same with the sister battery when I charged that. So it seemed to be pretty the same because the voltage was also pretty the same. And now it's charging at 12. Point seven so everything so far seems okay I got my temperature thing over here 17 18 which was the same that it was when I started this yep Everything seems okay. I'm gonna continue drinking my beer and waiting for a while just to check that everything is okay. It came up pretty good and I charged it for uh, maybe over an hour and it got to like 75% uh, of the charge and the voltage was like 13 uh, point something and everything looks good I checked with the uh, temperature meter and didn't rise at all and the temperature between the poles the, the ground and the positive it was the same so I think it's gonna be okay but now I have to leave uh, so I'm gonna continue the charging tomorrow I'm gonna switch these to places because this one got the most of the uh, the stress when the short circuit came, so I'm gonna put it in here and so that the, this new pole is gonna be this pole over here, and this is gonna connect just with the short cable to the ground over here. So, if something like this happens again, or yeah, so I got a fresh pole on I guess the the pole that gets the most most of the stretch when the uh, uh when the load is too high, so yeah, because these these were okay, there might be little something, but not that much, but these handle the stress like a champ so just in case I'm gonna do that and we might do another sailing trip tomorrow for one night so I get to test this out cruise a while and I'm probably gonna put more power to tomorrow than I usually do when we are cruising just to check that everything is okay so the plan is to keep this open and I'm gonna measure the temperatures out of the poles and the batteries also and also maybe compare these batteries to temperature and the voltage to these two which are okay so I hope you like this one put your thumbs up thumbs down if you don't like what I'm doing subscribe anyway and see you on the next one. Bye-bye.